Now, the moment when you direct your thoughts to God. Morning prayer with Adilson Santana when I want to communicate with God. I simply speak, let's talk to God. Hello, God. Heavenly Father, Creator of the heavens and the earth, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Finally, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. So be it. Amen. Look, it's Wednesday morning. We're concluding another morning prayer on Radio Interativa. As usual, daily, every day after the morning prayer. I always ask you on the other side. On this day that begins this morning, how many times have you had the honor to thank God? How many times have you said thank you, Heavenly Father, for my life, for my family, for my work, for the home I contend with, for my health? Have you ever stopped to consider the magnitude of the miracle you receive daily? God gives it to you. The greatest miracle a being can receive and renews daily. It's a miracle of life. And with life, God gives us free will to choose the direction we will take in our life. I've been speaking a lot. And life is like a long road. If we were to travel it, the end of this road is when we reach our home. And our home is next to God. And on this road, on this journey, we face wind, rain, storms, problems, obstacles, achievements, disappointments, sadness, joy. We go through all of this, but one day we conquer. One day we will be next to God. And as we traverse this road, we are here in this world to fulfill something that is designated for each of us. As my father used to say, that we have to go through. Don't stay at anyone's doorstep. And it's true. God doesn't give a colder chill than the blanket. God knows what he does with each of us. And that's why often here, after the morning prayer, I like to talk to you. Plant good things. So you can reap good things in this life. Be humble. Be attentive. Respect your elders. Have a kind heart. Don't hold on to grudges and resentments in your heart. This life is very short. Our life, it's fleeting. You know, you need to understand that nothing in this world belongs to us. Just as we came into this world, we will also leave without taking anything. Unfortunately, there are still people who steadfastly believe that material possessions, the car or house, make them better than other people. You know, we don't know when our last day on earth will be. We don't know until when we'll have the opportunity to enjoy. You know, to do the things we like. I speak a lot here on the radio, and it's a great truth. Live your life with intensity. Be happy. Be with the people you care about. Allocate some time for yourself to live intensely. You know, if you want to do something in this life, don't postpone it. I also talk a lot. And no matter how busy life is for everyone, no matter how much we need to work to take care of our family, we need to make time for ourselves as well. You know, do at least something you enjoy to make life worthwhile. What's the point of working day and night, night and day? You know, accumulating material wealth. But leaving behind the greatest fortune sometimes means you miss out on being with your child. Sometimes you miss taking a stroll with your spouse. Sometimes you skip the special Sunday lunch with your father, with your mother. Know how to enjoy your life, but enjoy it in the right way. Work hard. Take good care of your family, but carve out time for yourself. Don't be a slave to money. Remember the parable of the doctor, when he decided to enjoy the fortune he had amassed, but there wasn't enough time. Our life is like that too. Be careful not to overwork. Be careful not to miss out on eating your favorite food. 
Be cautious not to miss out on witnessing your child's childhood. Be cautious not to grieve later for the loss of your parents. And have the heavy conscience that you could have enjoyed more. But you didn't have the time. There's a parable. I'll conclude here. Yes, it's our time. It's very hectic, but there's another parable too. I've received it several times. From a mother who was already elderly. And it was her birthday. She would call her son to come spend her birthday with her. My child, I can't. Today, I have a business meeting, so she'd call another son. Today, I can't. Mom, I have to go on a trip. She had her 10 children, and none could stay with her on her birthday. She spent her birthday alone. All the children had commitments. Unavoidable ones. They didn't go see their mother on her birthday. A few days passed. The mother passed away. She passed on. And then they all came rushing, abandoning their busyness. The 10 children were there at the funeral. What's the use? After death, there is no use. Before her birthday, the children didn't have time to come see their mother, but at the funeral, everyone came together. The pain of conscience. It's sad. So don't postpone, seize the opportunity. Fabian, your parents, your family too. Set aside time for yourself. Be happy, work, but work enough to have time to enjoy your family. Let's conclude the morning prayer. May God bless each and every one of you as. May God perform a great miracle in the lives of those who are sick in bed in a hospital. May God bless each and every one of you as. May God perform a great miracle in the lives of those who receive and share. Our morning prayer. Good day.